Hey everybody, welcome back. In this week's video, we're gonna be doing the Wine Barrel Lazy Susan. Now, this is going to be a giveaway. As soon as I hit 100 subscribers, we're gonna do a raffle, and the winner of that raffle gets this project. So, we're gonna start with making the wine barrel top, and we need to go pick up some wood for that. So, let's go. Okay, so I always love going to the wood shop uh, just because I mean, they got so many cool woods to take a look at. But I did make some selections here with some red oak. And I have a piece that's a little over three quarters inch thick and we're going to use this for what's called the staves. These are the uprights and even though they're going to be small, that's what we're going to use for this piece. Then I also have a, a thinner piece, it's about half inch wide, and we're going to use this for the actual top of the wine barrel. But I think that this is going to be a nice piece, it has some nice grain to it, and once it's finished, uh, it should look really, really cool. So let's get started on that. Okay, so I've got my boards cut for the wine barrel top, and what I want to do now is I want to glue those together. But to kind of help strengthen that bond between the boards, I'm going to be adding in some little wood pieces known as biscuits. All right, those are actually going to get inserted into the side of the wood, and then it's going to be pushed together. Now, luckily, to put biscuits in, you need a biscuit jointer. So that's what this guy is. So let's go ahead and put some biscuits in the wood. Okay, so before this glue sets all the way, I want to take a wet rag and kind of go over the seams and get up the glue before it dries. Makes it a little bit easier once the entire board is set up to go ahead and clean it and plane it and stain it and sand it and get done what you need to get done with it. Okay, everybody, so here comes the boring part. I've got the barrel top gluing right now, but we need to now figure out the edges, or what's also known as the staves. All right, the staves are the vertical boards that form the circle around the top. And there's two important dimensions that we actually need. We need the width, which is this here, and we need the angle, which is this here. All right, so some simple questions have to be answered. How many staves do I want to have? Well, the easy answer is I want to have 30 staves, okay? Now, the other question is, what's the diameter of the entire top? Well, I want that to be 20 inches, okay? So there's certain calculations that you have to use. So in order to get the actual width, we have to take the diameter which is the 20 inches, all right, times that by 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, or for those of you who know, that's pi, okay, and that answer is 62.83. Now you take that number and you divide it by the number of stave, which is 30, and that gives you 2.09 inches. So this is going to be 2.09 inches. Now we'll probably round that up to two and an eighth. All right, the angle, all right, that's again, this section here. 
the diameter, all right, well, actually, the diameter of a circle is 360 degrees, okay, that we know, all right, divided by our number of staves, which is 30, and that gives us 12, all right. Now, because our staves actually have two sides, all right, we're going to divide that, well, uh, my symbols here, we're going to divide that by two, all right, and that actually is going to give us six degrees, all right? So this angle here is going to be six degrees. So now I need to cut 30 pieces at two and an eighth inches wide at six degrees, and that will give me my circle for 20 inches. I'll put these calculations down at the bottom in the description. That way you can take a look at them later. All right, so I don't have a compass that's big enough to draw the circle that I need to, so I'm gonna to have to improvise here just a little bit. Okay, the wine barrel top is cut out. Now it's time to sand it. Now the wine barrel top is sanded. Let's go ahead and do a dry fit with the ring that goes around the barrel top. So the wine barrel top is a little bit too big, which is kind of what I had hoped for. That way I can sand off as much as I need to make that tight fit that goes around the ring. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the sander and we're going to take off a little bit more of the diameter of the wine barrel top so that it fits within the small staves and those get nice and tight. Let's go back to sanding. So everything is fitting together nicely now. The only thing that I'm going to have to do slightly different than what you would do on a wine barrel is I'm going to have to glue the staves together. You see on a wine barrel, the banding around the staves and the liquid inside the barrel helps to keep it nice and watertight, or should I say wine tight. The wine inside the barrel will actually swell the wood and the bands on the outside will keep them from going anywhere. Well, we don't have wine inside the barrel, so we're gonna need something to keep the staves together. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and glue them, and then we're gonna get ready to stain. All right, so the wine barrel Lazy Susan is all glued together. Now, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna sand some more. We're gonna clean up all the edges. We're gonna make sure that it's all nice and smooth.
Okay, so the wood portion of the wine barrel is complete. Now we need to work on the metal part. We're gonna do the metal banding that goes around the wood barrel so that it keeps it together. And it also adds another element Hey there, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of what's coming up, do me a favor and subscribe. If you have something to say, please leave a comment down below. And in my next video, I'm going to give you all the details to the upcoming raffle and for your chance to win this Wine Barrel Lazy Susan. See you next time.